So I'm going to show you if you have a receiver that's going to traditionally have some of this white stuff at the bottom from where E-Flight glued it in. It came out of a bind and fly model and you want to use it on something else. So first thing you're going to need to do, I have a folder just called RC. We're just going to open that. Uh, wherever you... the to load the program onto your computer, it's just a matter of going to their website and doing the download. So let me just cover that. If you just go to a Google page, search, right? Let's type in, um, you could look up this exact number of this device that I want to use, the uh, SP, okay. M A. All right, and then it's a thirty sixty-five. I'm gonna just hit enter on that. It comes up with the devices that I'm talking about. Uh, this says Spectrum RC. That's what I want because I want to go to the Spectrum site because that's gonna be the most direct source. It shows the item that we got for programming, and then look, here's a bunch of download stuff. So you just click this download, or you know whatever one you know whatever applies to you google place or whatever you got going on bottom line i just need you to get this programmer onto your computer that's going to be variable with a, everybody's going to have a different thing um that's what it looks like it's just got the little spectrum symbol um and that's just my shortcut in the the folder that i'm in so then i open mine and then you see all my models and yeah, it's ridiculous how many I have. So from this point, I'm going to get my receiver that hasn't been registered or manipulated anyway. The first port, it's going to say bind program and SLRX2, blah, blah, blah. So you're going to plug that in there. Make sure nothing else is plugged in. Trust me, I've tried. If you want to leave it in the bird and do it while it's in the bird, that seems so great of an idea, but it doesn't work, so don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to plug this in. And then if you look up here at the top, it changed to cable connected, but no device, right? So when I, once I connect the cable, so here, what I'll do is get out of frame so it'll focus. I'll disconnect it, and you'll see right up here. Oh, never mind. The, the uh, it's the USB itself, not just the the, the plug-in. So, plug that out. All right, there you go. No device. There you go. I'm gonna plug this in. See, cable plugged. No device. So that means the computer recognizes it. You already heard it go. Doo -doo -doo, so you know it's it's in there. I'm plugging this back into this first port where it belongs. So from here, I'm going to go up here. Let me see, because my device that holds my phone is not cooperating for these details. Slightly to the right. I might be do better just moving the computer, because this device is kind of shaky right now. All right, so now you can see it. So I'm going to hit, get out of the frame. I'm going to take my mouse up to this little square right here that says, power cable once you do that it's going to come up with this little message that's saying it would damage your computer basically if you had something else plugged in that provided power to the receiver and you power to this you'd burn out the usb on your thing so don't do that so then hit power cable um the model settings on the device do not match those on that's just saying that you plugged in a device that this thing doesn't know right so then I usually, it doesn't matter which one of these you click in the beginning. So I'm going to just say use device settings. It's going to go through, do that little thing there, a little stats bar. And now this model popped up. So at this point, this is an AR631TA. I have a bunch of 631s that I, uh, 630, 630, 630, 30, 36, 10. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff in here. I'm sorry. All right. So these go with a zero zero in the front so i got zero zero one two so that's just the way i number mine just so i can remember them and then i put a little dot on them so if you look at it if you can see that it says zero zero one purple so then i'm just going to go to the next one in line
and in some cases, like when a bird is attached to it, I won't number it with a uh, a number and a color. I'll just put the bird. Like this is the Corsair 1.2. That's the A10 64 millimeter. So then that's kind of how it gets doled out. At this point, I don't have that many in the 637 TA variety that have not been named, which means they're still um, either in a temporary bird or just in the box, right? So this is one, two, and three. So the next one will be four. So the colors that are used are purple, light blue, and white. This is just a me thing, and I hope I don't make the video take too long with all my details. I'm going to talk really fast. I then take these stickers. I got a bunch of stickers. I use them for CG. I use it for various things. But I'm just going to take one of these stickers. I didn't have a red. So then up on the exact same spot of each receiver, I, I put one little dot, and that's going to be the color for that receiver. It could easily be removed without any damage, blah, blah, blah. But this is going to be 004, and it's going to be red. So having said that, I'm back at the top. I'm going to go into this model that's selected. I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to change where it says model this is one because that's what it defaults to. Um, and I'm going to delete the one and I'm going to make it 004. And then I'm going to put red. That's just how I can tell my receivers apart. It, you know, it just organization on my part, probably useless. And making a video take long, which I didn't want to do. Anyway, save. All right, so now this thing is saved, 004 red. So then for right here in the upper corner, if you can see my finger, if it's not coming through on the screen, let me see if I can zoom in because the rest of this page is not important at this moment. Right there where my mouse is shaking around, it's on models, I want it to, to software update. So then this screen comes up. All right, this is a software version 2.37. That's the other stuff about the receiver, you know, um, serial number and such. So for right here, what you want to do is you want to click check for update. So then it's going to pop up with that window telling you to register the device. So then I am going to put the same designator that made me, um, you know, red. So AR637. And it's going to be a TA004 uh, red. All right. And I'll change that once I stick it in a device, stick it in a model. All right. Please notify me about Spectrum updates, blah, 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 new releases. Yeah, I get all that. So I'm going to hit register. And I'm not sure if I really clicked this. So I'm going to click it again. All right. So now it showed that it got clicked. It went away. And now this lovely screen comes up where... Um, if I can find my mouse, it's so hard to film yourself. This is what we're on is 2.37 and it's all the way up to 2.48. So that I am going to click install and get this out of frame. All right. And then it's going to come up with this details box. Uh, it just tells you about the update and yada, yada, yada. I already know this update well, so I don't need to read that, but you should read it just so you know what you're getting. It's going to unlock it so you can do everything. So then at this point, it's, it's on, you see it's blinking, and your status bar is going. Once your status bar is done, then, you know, the blinking will change, but for right now, it's doing its little thing. I'm going to let the whole thing go, because it's usually pretty quick. I don't want to make the video long, which is already at 10 minutes. Jeesh. But I do want to have details that people don't cut. Okay, your device was successfully updated. So now it's, it's still blinking, but that's fine. So then I'm going to hit OK. Um, so now the device settings does not match the computer. So this is it reconnecting and it's going to say the same thing. So now I'm going to say use computer settings because we just updated it. So we're going to use the computer settings. It's going to update it. And that's it. This, this model is unlocked and can be put into forward programming. Um, basically anything that you want to do with this, with the safe and AS3X is going to be unlocked now because you have this new 2.48 version. So at this point, all you need to do is deselect this uh, power cable thing, which means turn the power off, and you can disconnect the cable. That's it. Now you're ready to plug it into your bird. So that's the whole thing. I don't want to include the next step, which would be putting it in a bird and doing reverse thrust and all of that. I just want to cover one thing, how to get it ready to be done. So you can you can have your all your stuff that you need to do 
on here without any blemishes of uh, that stoppage. Because with this TA version, you won't be able to get into that menu that says reset, factory reset. So that means you would have to manipulate this receiver orientation wise and it can be done so let's say you get this you don't want to do the update and in the bird that it came from this was facing forward and the plugs were facing back well then if you want to put it in a new bird just put it in the same way so the and it'll it'll be you know you're gonna to have to play with the as3x to make sure everything's moving in the right corrections because some birds have the bird that it came from might have had a reversal on rudder or this or that but it can be done, but this is the better way to do it. If you reset it, now you can freshly set up for the bird you want it for, not use it on what it was set to and kind of manipulate it to make it work. But it can be done. I just want, you know, that disclaimer, it can be done. I'm going to end this video, try to get this uploaded so you can know about updating. This applies to all the receivers that have this little safe mode uh, emblem on. So that's the... AR 630, 631, 637, 637T, and uh, TA, all of those versions will be able to be updated like this, as well as the 8 channel and the 10 channel. They, they do the same thing. So it's not a big deal when it comes to that. You will be able to manipulate those and update them with this same programmer updater. So, all right, I, uh, I have the receiver connected. It's powered up. It's bound already. I didn't want to waste a lot of time with the video. I'm going to go to right here, model adjust, tap that, and then look what pops up. It isn't always there, but it is now. As a matter of fact, let's disconnect the power and go back. All right, model adjust. Uh, well, maybe it is still there because I was just in it, but if I try to connect, it's going to do nothing, right? It just says connecting, 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 navigation timeout. I'm going to plug my receiver back in. I'm going to get it on. I'm going to hit back. All right. So now I'm going to go to forward programming. It says connecting. Comes up gyro settings. This is a receiver that has not been updated. See 2.37.07. So I'm going to hit gyro settings. Save select. And you have some, you know, things you can do in here. But that's it. You're, you're, you're limited, right? So you can't get into, you can't factory reset it. You can only manipulate it for the bird that it's already in. You can't change anything else. You can turn safe select off. You can, you know, you can do different stuff, but nothing, nothing that's amounts to anything. This is it. The only menu you got gyro settings and that's it. Now I'm going to unplug this and I'm going to un, I'm going to plug in red that we just updated. So power it on. All right, I'm gonna hit back. Bind. Binding. Oh. Hold the bind. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even set this into bind mode. Trying to move too fast now, folks. So once that fails. Bind failed. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in again. I'm gonna hit the bind button this time. It's flashing. Okay, I'm gonna hold Binding. down mine. Bind complete. DSMX 22 milliseconds. All right, it's Telemetry. ready. Telemetry is ready. It's gonna go away. It's gonna do its packets. <sighs> this is torture when I'm doing a video that I want to be short. All right, now it's in the main screen. I'm gonna hit model adjust. Four program comes up. It's connected. Now look what it's got show advanced menus you can inhibit it or you can activate it once you activate it now you can go to other settings from other settings you can go to factory reset that's what you want this receiver even though i updated it it's still programmed for the bird that it came from and it'll be able to be installed right back into that bird and work flawlessly like it never had a problem but if I hit factory reset, I can program it to any bird I want at that point in a simple maneuver. And this can be done at the field as I displayed on one of my other videos where I just set up safe. But this covers the whole computer portion of that. So if you combine the two videos, you get everything you need. That's all I really got to say about it. I hope this helps someone. Okay, I'm going to cover the same thing on the NX radio. I have my 
unupdated receiver connected and bound to save some time during this video. I'm going to click the scrolly wheely thingy. I'm going to scroll down. It's not focusing to aggravate me. I'm going to hit for programming. Bomb. There it is. All right. And it goes to gyro settings. It's from gyro settings, all you got is safe select and the same stuff you had on the IX. It, it looks different, but look at it closely. It's the same. So get out of here. I'm going to connect the updated receiver. I'm going to bind. It's in bind mode. Hold this down. Go to bind. Yes. So much easier on the IX. You just it's right on the front screen all the time. You can easily bind this. You got to go through all kind of acts of Congress. Anyway, I'm ranting. It's auto configuring. All right, so now it's ready. I'm gonna hit the scroll wheelie thingy. I'm gonna scroll down and look what's there for programming. I'm gonna click it. It's connecting. So now look, you got gyro settings which you had before, but now you got advanced menus. I'm gonna hit that. Other gyro settings, and then there you go, factory reset, which is what you need for what we're trying to do when we're going to set this up for another bird. So that's IX and NX. Hope I covered as much as I could. Thank you. Thanks for watching.